Hi, plan friends! Welcoming you into my bedroom on tour. Um, I'm currently in Alto, New Mexico, otherwise known as Ridoso. And for those of you that don't know, I am taking Bloom and Grow Radio podcast and YouTube show on the road because I'm touring with Cats the Musical. That means that I go to a different city every week. Every Monday, I get on a plane and head to a different city to bring our show to a new theater. And because of that, it means that I've been traveling with some plants on a lot of airplanes lately. Um, I did an amazing meetup in Tucson, Arizona, and the sweetest listener, Shelby, gave me an incredible cutting of this philodendron mycons. Look at those gorgeous leaves. She's a little beat up because I've taken her on 10 airplanes. Um, I'm going to ship her home to Billy next week, but it's been really nice. I've been keeping her on my windowsills and all of my different Airbnbs. So I thought that I would show you guys how I pack her up to take her on the airplanes. It is not fancy by any means, but it gets the job done. Bloom and Grow YouTube show. So all you need is a damp towel, a damp paper towel, don't the YouTubers go like that? A damp paper towel, a plastic bag, and some newspaper, which is over here. <clears throat> so I water the plant maybe a day or two before my travel day. That means that the soil on the travel day is going to be slightly damp but not sopping wet because obviously you don't want to plant in like sopping wet soil. So the soil is nice and damp. It's also going to keep the soil more compact when it's damp than if it's that bone dry soil that kind of just scatters everywhere like kind of dust. So I'm going to, to secure the soil in the pot and also keep the soil damp, I'm going to take this damp paper towel fold it up and nestle it in and around all of the stems. So that's going to just kind of keep everything nice and tidy in the pot, like so. Then I'm going to gently fold all of these gorgeous stems and leaves on top. Plants are resilient. This looks like I'm hurting it, but it's been okay. I've done this now for several travel days and this plant is still kicking. Then I take a newspaper, put it like this, and I gently fold the newspaper up over the plant. So we're making like a nice comfy little cocoon that the plant will be secured in. Then I take another piece of newspaper and I reverse it. So I went down up. So now I'm gonna put this on the top and on a different angle. And once again, I'm doing this all very gently. We're not hurting the plant. We're just securing it like so. Fold these guys in. And there we go. So this is the little newspaper ball. I'll do this with a few more pieces of newspaper. Then I have this trusty, I've literally, plant friends, I've literally done this like the last four Mondays. This busted old Chipotle bag. I nestle the plant bottom down in the Chipotle bag. Yeah, 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 yeah. You gotta shimmy it on in. I'm also still traveling my succulent crown that I made in San Diego. So this has done four travel days now. And we've had two, two airplanes, so six airplanes still kick in. I will take a piece of newspaper, fold it over, lay this guy down. I mean, did I make the prettiest succulent crown or what? A few little guys have fallen off, um, but that's okay. I wrap this like this so none of the succulents fall off. They're all nice and cozy. Oh yeah, this is our little, whoopsies stick him in. I stick him on top. Sometimes I fold this over or sometimes I leave it open because I feel like, I don't know, I feel like air circulates. And then the grand finale. I put it like this. So then I'll take this whole bag and I'll 
put it in the bottom of my backpack. And since I'm wearing my backpack most of the travel day, it's right side up. When I have to go in the plane and put my backpack under the seat in front of me, I just like make sure the backpack goes in nice and gentle. Um, <clears throat> obviously, plan friends, this is not fancy. This is just what I've been doing. I'm trying to make it work with these wonderful gifts that I get. Um, I also have another succulent that I've been traveling. The succulent crown has been doing pretty well. I'm gonna ship them all home to Billy now so he can stick them in one place and they can adjust. But it's been really fun traveling with them. Um, speaking of traveling, speaking of moving, the Bloom and Grow Radio podcast just released a whole episode on moving with plants. Whether you're moving in a car, in a plane, in a train, if you're just moving down the street, or if you're moving to another country, I have strategies in that podcast for any type of move that you might need. So I would say go give it a listen. You can listen to the Bloom and Grow Radio podcast on any podcast player. Just type in Bloom and Grow Radio in the search bar and you'll find it. Don't forget to subscribe. And yeah, I think this is just a super fun tutorial to show you the real life of this crazy plant lady. I think I feel my ultimate crazy plant ladiness when I am in the airports giggling that I have two plants in my backpack. Um, it is something that kind of brightens my days because I'm like, wow, I'm a real piece of work. I'm really, I have two plants in my backpack right now. If you liked this type of tutorial, there'll be more tutorials, more DIYs, more home tours, more plant tours, more visual um, accompaniments to my podcast on this channel. Make sure you subscribe below. And until next time, my plant friends, keep blooming, keep growing. Keep growing? Okay, wait, let's do that again. Keep blooming and keep growing. Okay.